Hello, today we're going to be building this reusable horizontal scroll snap component within Figma. Alright, let's begin. So, here's the setup that I will be using for this tutorial. And I have prepared in advance just a few components you know, that I have used to create this uh, like group collection element or component that will include all of the sections that we want to uh, snap to within the scroll snap uh, component. So if you want to build something of your own, just make sure you have an element or a component that includes everything, like all the sections you want to snap into. Next, we are going to build the variants that we are going to be using for the actual scroll snapping component. So let's begin by creating a frame that will match our prototype devices width. And in this case, I have this iPhone 13 as my uh, prototype device. So I'm just going to create a frame uh, with the device and that will automatically be the same or the correct width uh, without me having to do anything else. And then we can take a copy of our base component and move it inside our new frame. And then let's make it the same height. And at this point, so if you want to have margins within your scroll snap component, you need to include those into this frame. So let's say if I want to have a margin that is uh, 16 pixels, I can just create, uh, for example, like this, bring in the rulers and just bring a ruler over the frame. And now all I need to do is align this with the ruler. And then we can actually remove the background from that and allow the content to clip out like so. And now let's rename this to something that makes a bit more sense. Like, um, what was the name of this? Uh, let's do group collection with scroll snap. And we're going to be calling this column one, like so. And then we can duplicate this three times, like so. Oh, actually, that was incorrect. And then duplicate this one more time. And as you can see, it automatically increments the column name, which is really nice. And now all we need to do is select the component that is inside this frame and then move it to be in the second like snap position and align these items with the ruler that we put in place and then simply do the same for the last one like so is it in place yes that is and actually let's get a bit more room here so they don't overlap Good damn it. Like this, and let's bring our ruler back into the correct position. Like so, and let's move this a bit more. There we go. Sorry for the hassle. And at this stage, we can uh, turn these into their own components, like so. And now we can combine these components as variants like so and the next step is to actually connect these with the prototype connections and make the scroll snap behavior work at all so once you have them as variants go to the prototype tab and then make sure you select the component within the column frame so in this case column one and then the component inside of that and add the interaction into that. Make sure you do not connect it into this column one frame, but into the child frame slash element. And once you have that in place, make sure it is on drag and the change to is correct. And the animation is going to be small animate. 
the animation curve is out is going to be okay and the 300 milliseconds is also going to be okay but you can play with these if you want to and see if you can get it to feel a bit better but these are fine for now and the most important thing is to make sure that it's set to on drag okay and then we do the same for the column 2 like so and again select the child element and create a connection to the column 3 make sure it's on drag everything else is fine and while we have this uh, selected also create a connection back to the uh, column 1 frame so we can actually drag back to the other direction and then finally on the column 3 select the inner element and add a connection back to the column 2 and set it to a drag and now we should have all the interactions in place like so and now we can actually test if this actually works so come back to your design uh, tab and then click uh, shift i to bring in the component menu and then we can just uh, click or drag it in to the frame and we can see it in the prototype i have running here and we should be able to drag just like this and as you can see it works so let's finalize the actual component because we want it to have a title attached above that so this is just the like base component that includes the interactions and but you might want to have that like as part of another component so let's bring in the title element that i have here and also this like so and then we are going to just combine these as an auto frame no auto layout sorry element like so and we're gonna add how much like 16 pixels of padding here and then this is going to be named something like group collection with title yeah that's going to be good enough and let's turn that into a component and we can actually actually no don't turn on clip content it would be tempting to do this but don't do is there's a reason for that and i'll show it to you in a in a bit so let's move this down below like this so it's not gonna be on the way and then let's just copy this in like so uh, pull it down a little bit oh actually i forgot to add um margins to the title so let's put that inside uh another auto layout and then let's set this to fill the container and now we can add 16 pixels like so but we can remove it from the top and actually also from here because we only want well actually well, it depends you can have it here or if you want that your title has the padding or margin set onto it then do this so now we have proper margins as you can see here and also here and now we can copy this down below and let's make some room select these and create an other auto layout and let's just name this content container container like so and now we can just duplicate these a few times here and then select the content container and now we can add margins very easily between all of the sections uh, let's see i guess 32 is fine for now and if we check out the prototype we should be able to scroll snap horizontally individually all of these sections nice Okay, and the final step is to add some actual content into this uh, layout. So, before I mentioned that you should not 
turn on the clip content and that is because now you can come to your screen and disable the clip content from there and now you can see all of these very easily which means that you can also uh, update everything oops update everything within here and they will like persist between the uh, interactive component states so you don't have to worry about like when you change from this component to this within the interactive interaction everything everything is going to remain as they are on this screen so let's add some images for example so select the image layer here and i usually use unsplash to quickly add imagery into the, the designs so let's bring it up here and let's just go like abstract these are fine and then just keep selecting these images one by one and keep adding images into them like so like so this is gonna take a while so i'll speed this up for you Okay, there we go. Now we have some images on the design and the next step is to just update some titles here, but I will be a bit um, lazy and just update like the first column on each of these so you don't have to sit and wait for me to update everything. So I'll speed this up. And just like that, we have an app or well, a layout with images uh, updated labels and text content and we can actually toggle this so we don't have to watch or see the clipping section let's see the uh, prototype everything works as expected we can scroll vertically and then there is a horizontal scroll snap on each of these sections like so and they remain where we leave them. And that's it, we're done. Thanks for watching today's video. If you found it helpful, please leave a like down below and also consider subscribing. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.